Welcome back to YouTube Titan Fragrance Reviews coming at you again. This is going to be a first impression on two recent acquisitions. Uh, it's, you're joining us for the first time. I say yes because it's kind of our channel here. Um, I basically do reviews, go over things that I've bought, uh, things that I've experienced in both in Fragcom and in just my journey of collecting uh, things that I like, things I dislike. You know, and I try to definitely do any requests, things like that. Um, if you're returning, I do appreciate your support, man. Uh, definitely enjoy the interaction that all you guys give. It's really the funnest part about this, uh, and I'm just glad that I can share this with y'all and give you my take on these things. Now, as you'll see in the title, of course, these are two big hitters. I think that they definitely are going to deserve their own single video because so far, just in the initial, I think they have they really are pretty nice. Um, but... I'll go over real quick. It's going to be Inicio's Oud for Greatness. And it'll be Mancera's, probably can't see that one, Instant Crush. <clears throat> I got the box just because Mancera's Mancera comes with the traditional box, little pouch. But then, of course, like all their bottles, you'll see right there Instant Crush, right? And then, of course, reason I really want to show you is obviously this one's just beautiful. It's oud for greatness, as Anisha does very well. Presentation, not the presentation is everything because it's all about the juice. Then it sits right in here, like so. And the bottle, it's probably one of the most gorgeous bottles you're going to see out there. I think it is just really, really nice. And uh, but without further ado I want to get to the important part which is the juice itself now these this is just first impression I've only tried them a little bit and I do have a dry down I'll spray them in just a second but let's I'll give you the notes I'll give you a little bit on what my take is on it as of right now just what the retail is on them and kind of situations things like that but uh, first and foremost I'll start it with Mancera now, Mancera, this one, Instant Crush, is very commonly in the Fredcom re referred to as something to do with Baccarat. Baccarat Rouge 540. And I can tell you one, and it has a ton of notes, at least as for Grand to Code say. You're talking it's going to open up with some saffron, some ginger, some Sicilian bergamot, and some mandarin. Okay, that's to open up. Then, in the mid, you're talking about Moroccan rose, Egyptian jasmine, amber wood, and Indonesian patchouli leaf, okay? And then, of course, in the, the base, you're going to have your sandalwood, your oak moss, your white musk, and Madagascar vanilla, okay? A lot of notes. And the reason I think a lot of people get the Baccarat Rouge 540 vibe is because they sh Baccarat on Fragrana has six notes, and of those six notes, three of them are shared with this one. Uh, your jasmine, your saffron, and your amberwood. Uh, so I could probably see that. Uh, definitely leans like a caramelized sugar on this one. And this one does come across as such. Let me get the opening sprayed up. Typical. The great thing about Mancera is, I mean, they screw on top. Bottles are nice. Atomizer is pretty good. Let's see here. And, and yes, it, it is it is a sweet fragrance. So if you don't like sweet fragrances, this is probably not going to be one for you. Uh, and you can kind of get that. It's definitely very smooth right off the top. It is bright. It is sweet. You know, you do get that that jasmine and rose mixing in there pretty pretty quick. The, the, the top all kind of feels very sweet and a slight floralness to it. On the dry down... That creaminess of the sandalwood and the vanilla, the musk starts to come out more. I mean, it, it, it is a gorgeous scent, in my opinion. I, I, of course, I love Baccarat Rouge, so it, there you go. I'm going to kind of like this one, obviously, just on the note breakdown. Uh, the thing with this one, it is probably a little bit more unisex than most of the other fragrances I have. My daughter, even, she's 16. She loves Uber Sweet. Uh, not that this is Uber Sweet, but she even asked to wear it today. And I said, I'm sure she can have any, any, any go of any of these. So she did. She said, got pretty good longevity on it. Um, and so she was comfortable with it. So 
I think that, like I said, if you're looking for something that's right on that line, unisex, and I think, you know, it's going to react differently to different people, men and women. So I think it is something that a woman could pull off very easily. And a man, you know, obviously can, if you like that sweetness, go for it. Anything you want to wear, wear it. Don't, and I'm of that kind. If I want to wear something old school, if I want to wear something new school, hey, wear what you enjoy, what you like. Uh, if I don't like it, I don't care how much anyone else likes it. It's not for me or vice versa. But that's my take on that one. The one that I'm not big into the oud or, you know, being fairly new into the game, although I have quite a few in my collection, I've just amassed quite a bit and just trying to broaden the horizon, uh, broaden my experience. But oud for greatness, again, it's going to start out with lavender, saffron, and nutmeg on the top. And then it's going to have your agarwood as your mid, which is the oud. And then, of course, your base is going to be your patchouli and musk. And um, I must say that this is quite pleasant. I mean, it is, <laughs> I mean, uh, I don't like dank, you know, what oud can sometimes can come across as dank. And, and uh, but this one really comes across That lavender, I think that saffron, you know, the uh, right off the top, it's it's not a frugere, but it comes across clean. It comes across, uh, and and although there is no leather in this, uh, the best vibe I can get is like if you go into a very fine furniture store of leather, uh, or in a very luxurious leather car, like brand new, you open it that that. That is that very clean vibe that you get off of that. Is that that's what I'm the vibe I get. Even though there is no leather, I think it must be that that agarwood that's and that really comes across as that almost like I said, not necessarily medicinal, but it's very clean, very string. You know, uh, best I can put it. Like I said, the vibe comes across as just very fine, and it is it is definitely. Uh, a luxurious scent, I think. I think dressed up be awesome. Like I said, you, you just want to keep smelling. At least I do. And I, like I said, it's this is the dry down I got. And it, it's just very, very, very nice, uh, in my opinion. Just off just off right now. I'm really enjoying it. I want to keep smelling it. Um, let's talk about the price points on these. Retail on the Mancera here is $180. On something like this that's retail of course if you get onto the Facebook groups and I definitely recommend some of y'all joining in um, there's always talk about stuff share your passion share what you like uh, learn some more things meet some people um, oop for greatness this one will put a dent on you uh, retail is like 350 for this three ounce uh, definitely a manly scent luxurious scent and but again uh, it is my oud intro, I guess, to it, but I, I am definitely liking it so far. I know it's not for some of y'all really into the frag com that are really into those deeper ouds and so forth. You may think that this really doesn't work or it's not up to your standards, but I, I definitely am enjoying it. I think it's a definitely great intro to it, getting into it. But um, I hope... That helps some of y'all. I, I definitely encourage decants, things like that. Go go find someone who does it. Go on Facebook groups. You find tons of quality people, and you can legit check them and, and try them. Ex broaden your horizon. Definitely. Again, Titan Fragrance Review, wishing you a very blessed night. Okay? Y'all have a good one.